Cody Stammen is a beast when it comes to featherweight martial arts and has been in the fighting business since 2010. Despite being 31 years of age, this guy has made a name for himself not just in terms of popularity, but also in terms of green paper. And yes, I mean money. For the fighter, who is also known as the Spartan, which is a very befitting name considering that he has only three losses in his entire fighting career, having a good time with the wads of cash he has amassed for himself is not inevitable. In this video, we're going to be talking about the net worth of this brawler, his lifestyle, and how he spends the millions he has made and is still making. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on, so you don't miss out on any of the new videos we post. Background and Martial Arts Career This superstar was born in Grand Rapids, located in Michigan, and attended a state university where he developed an interest in wrestling. At the age of 16, this guy started boxing in high school, and was later encouraged by his mother to switch to MMA fighting, although it was her way of keeping him out of trouble. Before he became professional, in 2010, Stammen built a record for himself, acquiring seven wrestling titles. Later on, he took his fighting career more seriously and decided to make it completely professional. On the 8th of July 2017, during a UFC debut, he fought against Tarion Ware in Las Vegas and ended up winning the fight by unanimous decision of the judges. On the 7th of October that same year, he faced Tom Duquesnoy and also ended up winning the fight against him by a split decision of the judges. Judges. After the match against Tom, Stammen decided to kick back and watch the fight again. But during rewatch, he noticed one major thing that seemed off, which was Daniel Cormier and Joe Rogan's bias in the commentary on his fight. Despite the bias, he also noticed that the commentators kept on mentioning his opponent's name even though his opponent was losing. After that match, he took a break and some time to train before his next fight that happened on the 4th of March 2018 at UFC 222. This fight was also won by a a split decision. On the 8th of September that same year, he faced Alejandro Perez, a fight that was won by unanimous decision. On the 22nd of June 2019, he was expected to face Rob Font, but on the 5th of June that same year, it was made known that he had pulled out of the event because of an injury. This led to him being replaced by John Lineker. Due to the fact that he gained nothing from this fight with Font, Stammen decided to relocate to Las Vegas, where he started his training at Extreme Couture. On the 7th of December 2019, he fought against Song Ya Dong, which ended in a draw after three rounds. There was an expected fight between Stammen and Rayoni Barcelos on the 28th of March 2020, but the event was postponed due to the global health situation. Instead of that fight, Stammen fought Brian Keller on the 6th of June 2020 and won by unanimous decision. About a month after that fight, he faced off against Jimmy Rivera, but ended up losing the fight due to a unanimous decision. He was expected to fight against Marab Davalishvili on the 5th of December 2020. However, on the 22nd of October, an announcement was made informing the public that Stammen stepped down from the fight, but the reasons were not given. The match between Stammen and Davalishvili was rescheduled for the 6th of February 2021, but Davalishvili had to step back from the fight because of a health complication. This led to him being replaced by Andre Ewell. After testing positive for the illness associated with the global health situation, Elwell was told to withdraw from the event and was replaced by Askar Askarwi. On the day the fight was supposed to happen, Askar had some issues with his medical clearance, which led to the cancellation of the bout. The fight between Davalishvili and Stammen was set to happen on the 1st of May 2021, but Stammen lost the fight through a unanimous decision. With all these fights, it is not far-fetched for him to be blessed with the nickname the Spartan. Fighting Record Having been in many fights, Cody Stammen has been able to set a streak of unbelievable records for himself in two different fields of fighting, which include mixed martial arts and professional boxing. Mixed Martial Arts Record Cody Stammen has been in a total of 24 matches, having 19 wins in total and 4 losses in total. He has won 6 times by knocking his opponent out cold, twice through submission, and 11 times by the decision of the judges. Cody has never been knocked out during a mixed martial arts match, but he has tapped out just once and has lost by decision of the judges three times. And as for draws, he has drawn with his opponent just once. So far, he has been able to put Zach Church, Bill Camry, Ruben Barayek, Adam Alvarez, Benjamin Alexandraku, and Chad Kuhn to sleep, greeting their faces with his attacks. Oh, that must have hurt. Professional boxing record. As for his professional boxing record, Stammen has been in only one match which was 
against Afra Mema on the 28th of December 2012. And guess what? He lost that fight. Drama. On the 27th of May 2020, Cody received some news that his brother, who was just 18 years of age, had passed away, and this affected him greatly. But the fighter was still somehow able to keep his emotions in check. During an interview, he was asked if he was able to put his emotions into words, but his answer was no. He said that he was overflowing with emotions and did not know what to do when he got the gruesome news. He had just ended a fight, and he said that he could not fight his own emotions, which made him seem weak. He also said that there was a lot of things he wanted to say, but did not because he was a total mess after hearing the news. Stamen also mentioned that he wanted to clear his head, but found it difficult to. I'm still on the verge of crying and I don't know what to do, but I'll be fine. These were the words he said during an interview after the fight that occurred when his brother died. He was also asked if he had any ideas as to how to cope with such loss before a fight, and he mentioned that he went on YouTube to look at what other fighters with similar situations did. He said that he did not want to think about the loss until after the fight to avoid distraction. He said it was impossible to forget about it completely, so he decided to fight as hard as he could in honor of his brother. Cody also mentioned that immediately after the fight was over, all the emotions came rushing back. He mentioned that he was on the brink of a complete breakdown. During the interview, he also talked about some fighters that were making it big in the industry, complimenting them as he spoke. He did not fail to mention those fighters that were just a few fights away from being top rated. From all this, we can see that Cody Stammen is not just a wonderful fighter, but has a really powerful mind. Lifestyle and Nicknames Cody Stammen has two nicknames, Spartan and Mr. Wonderful. The pet name Spartan was gotten from the name of his hometown while his coach gave him the name Mr. Wonderful, which fits him perfectly. Although there is not much information about what he does for hobbies, it is well known that he enjoys fishing. So if you want to make this guy happy, take him fishing when he's not punching a bag or lifting some weights. Net worth and how he spends his millions When it comes to the public information about how this guy lives his life and spends his money, there isn't so much to see on the internet, but there are a few things we do know. Over the years, Cody has amassed over $1 million from his fighting career, and we are sure he still has a long way to go. This guy ensures that his personal life is kept private from the public, but every strong barrier has a loophole, or so they say. And what better place to find loopholes than on Instagram? Taking a peek into his Instagram, there are numerous duck hunting videos where he showcases his guns, dogs, and also his camo, which suggests that he has spent a considerable amount of money on these hardware items. He has also been seen riding ATVs in many of his videos, and from the looks of it, they are expensive and numerous. Apart from hunting, Cody Stammen's Instagram is also filled with high-grade training equipment like weights, and also a video of him training with a simulation on a TV was also posted by him. That aside, there are some pictures he posted where he talked about him renovating buildings and going hiking. Not much is seen about his house, but from a few images that we have seen, it is safe to say that the house took its fair share of his cash. Judging by the training equipment, hiking and hunting activities, and also renovation pictures, we can conclude that Cody Stammen spends his money on these things. What about his cars, you might ask? Well, no one knows anything about those, and I think that's one of the very few things that can't be found anywhere. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. Before you leave, don't forget to hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on more exciting videos like this. See you soon.